Hello, I am Katana, the lightning cat. And the next part of this quest, I gotta go talk to old Longfellow. Cat knocked something over. Again. Oh, thank you so much for putting me on this rickety dock. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leaving. Well, yes, I did. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? I'll risk it. Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I could get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Any other preparations you should say? Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than <laughs> my alerts out there. All right, let's go. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Come on, Kate. We're leaving. As soon as he figures out how to open a door. <coughs> Fortify your gut against the fog. With whiskey. <laughs> Let's head out of town. Acadia is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul as sin. But it'll help. We need to move through the main drag. Old mountain trail is where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. It does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. Well, I took out these ones. This is going to be quite the journey. Very slow journey. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. We steer clear, but you never know. Well, that was harrowing of a thing to hear. <laughs> Harrow. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee. The whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Mm-hmm. Someone or something else here. You're dead. <laughs> Hold still, will ya?
<laughs> Choke on your own blood. Gulper's got a fondness for fresh water. Small gulper, the ones in these parts. Yeah, give me a minute, Longfellow. All right, we're back on track. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Is that his whole name? I wonder. Stay down! And nothing but bits. It's time for a drink. Well, I found a coffee cup if you want it. Apparently not. One more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about both? And your hair's falling out. Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. clean. No fog. Agadia is not too far now. Well, I hope so. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> I like you. Just make sure stinking drunk it is. Strong, there's enough to share. See what happens next. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Uh, maybe later. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. If you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. Yeah, like sitting on my bum growing older. I first climbed this mountain above the fog I thought to myself now here is a metaphor worth taking in you've entered a place of clarity understanding peace while you're here in Acadia synth kind welcomes you 
as long as you welcome us. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for Kasumi. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? No. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? <laughs> no, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, What's the first thing you can remember? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Why, right, thank you. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Ah, I should tell him I'm in the Institute. I'm just going to tell you right now, Dima. I'm in the Institute. That's quite an admission to make. I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. I'm not your enemy. I only wish to live here in peace with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. Okay. Fine. I'll keep your secrets for now. Thank you. Now, was there anything else I can do for you? No, nothing else. I'll talk to you later, though. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps they were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. 
You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Shh. Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs. What's that you're working on? Nonsense. Just trying to cobble some pre war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I don't mind at all. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They. They did what? You came all this way for me. Look, my mom and dad, uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and... I replaced her? <sighs> How do you have proof? Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? <clears throat> Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <sighs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. I think you're just confused. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told yep. you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Well, what is it? What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. It's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go to the terminal. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Optional hack, gain access to storage room. Wait, 
which one's which? It would be upstairs next to the thingy. The other option is to talk to Dima. Thanks, Kate. You point me in the right direction to go up the stairs. Ah, it's in that room. Okay. Megalomaniac. Yep, Tectus is. Yep, now they're arguing about the memory banks being in the nucleus. You have fun sitting there. I gotta go talk to somebody. <clears throat> Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima, or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does. Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's <laughs> it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here.
Yep, I can see Eric in the chat. I just took a moment to look at the chat. Okay. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be all right. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. To be honest, I want to go talk to Dima about it. Assuming that it hasn't closed off the option. Dima, is there anything I can do? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. That's right. What's the plan, Stan? What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? Well... <laughs> children of Adam to start with although I'm pretty heavily leaning towards eradicating them all the children of Adam on this island you were helping them yes I know their faith in radiation as a type of God is a bit different but who am I to judge I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside they had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. And Far Harbor? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. And finally, your memories, Dima. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. Well, that'll be all for now. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures. You'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Hacking program? I'm going to replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more fuzzy. In all seriousness, <laughs> good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. 
It's in all our best interest that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal Aww. must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. All right. Just for you, Dima. Just for you. On this save file. On this playthrough. Just for you. Sure, Kate. Have a seat. <laughs> you enjoy that. Ah, I gotta take off for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And thank you for getting all the way through, and I'll thank you even more for supporting on PayPal or Patreon. Your favorite idiot, moi. Until next time, goodbye.